Hi guys, welcome back to another Yonder Mountain Adventure. Uh, today is slightly different. Uh, we're not out in the wilderness, uh, but we are going to have a look at the Oraken uh, 3 mini stove, which is a Pomoli stove. Pomoli kindly sent me this with a Hussar Plus hot tent, and I've got to say, this is an awesome bit of kit. So much so that off the back of the video and Instagram reels, I've had a stack of people asking a load of questions about this and asking us to do a short video just going through some of the specs. So you say, and I do, that's what we're uh, that's what we're doing today. The video is going to be in two parts. The first part we'll look at some of the specs, some of the features, some of the benefits. We'll have a look at it here in detail. And the second part of the video, we're going to get it outside and we're going to get a burn on as well, so you can uh, you can see it in action. Um, I'll put all the links in the video description to this stove via Pomoli. Hopefully I can give you all of the relevant information. And after today's video, if you've got any other questions, drop them in the comments section uh, on the video. You can catch us on Instagram, Yonder Mountain Adventures. Um, and feel free, send us, a, uh, send us a message on Instagram. And I'm happy to help out with any questions that you might have as well. Uh, so, without uh, any more messing about or slavering on... Let's have a look at this. Fantastic. So first things first, it comes uh, when you get it out of the box, comes with its own carry case, as you can see here. Uh, and in actual fact, this material is very, very strong. The handles are strong because this is there's quite a bit of weight to this uh, this particular stove, so it needs to be strong. But very, very handy, very portable. You'll notice on the front, it's got two clasps which just kind of hold it all together and exactly the same on the back as well I'll just undo them and on the top all of these are completely adjustable and as you can see once you've got it opened up that opens up for access to the stove um, you'll notice the colour um, I've used this stove quite a few times now um, the material itself is 304 stainless steel what that means is it's very, very durable. Um, it's very, very um, warp resistant as well, and it retains its heat, but it does discolor. Um, so you're not gonna get that beautiful kind of chrome look. It's not gonna stay looking new for very long, uh, but you know that doesn't make any difference. It's not about how this thing looks, it's about its functionality. So the first thing that you'll notice is it comes with these side, um, shelves I'll put them to one side for the moment and I'll show you exactly you know what's involved with these um, these fit onto the sides and it, uh, it's great because it allows you to kind of put various things on there kettles cups and other things um, to the side keeping them warm but not getting hot so that's the actual stove opening up as we can see there what I'm going to do now is just show you a little bit more about the inside and I'll tell you a little bit about the glass on here as well let's have a look inside so guys as you can see you've got a nice little catch there for the door and in actual fact that it doesn't even get too hot either so let's have a look inside nicely packed away you've got your, uh, your, your stove pipe so you get one Two, three, that's got a spark arrestor on it. Four, five, and the last one, six. Right, what I'm going to do is show you this with its, uh, with its legs up, and it's nice and easy to do. As you can see, it comes with four legs, as you would expect, and they're very, very strong. This allows, just reposition the two back ones, that allows it just to be nice and stable, as you can see, nice and strong. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run through the dimensions for you here, guys. So the width itself is 18 centimetres. The height from the ground to the top of the stove is 28 centimetres, and the length is 35 centimetres. So that gives you an idea of the dimensions. You've noticed I've got the side panels on here as well these are great they can be used as a carrying handle like that which is very handy otherwise they just slot in 
and then that allows you to have a nice platform there if you've maybe got a bigger pan it gives you that stability if you want to put your cups on either side keeping them warm but not too hot to the touch that's absolutely perfect the width of this now is 46 centimeters from side to side so that gives you an idea of the dimensions so when we look inside the stove you'll notice first things first it does come with an ashtray which is ideal for cleaning and also you can see there is uh, vents which are operated by the actual handle itself and that will allow or restrict airflow as and how you want it what i would also say as well is this is perfect when it's got the burn on you can open it just that little bit maybe it's uh, just a you know kind of about a centimeter or so and that will allow extra airflow um, and also from an airflow point of view this stove comes with what's called air curtain technology and what it does is it really gives you a clean burn and that's on the vents on the side i'll show you that now the idea being don't open these vents allow the burn to, to go on for about 15 minutes and then activate the air curtain and then that gives you a real nice clean burn also from an airflow point of view as well guys the actual pipe the bottom section of the pipe has got a dampener on it as well now this as you can be able to see there that closes it and opens it and you can have it at any degree wherever you want it to be there and that will allow or restrict airflow and that itself one is for the first part of the actual stove pipe itself perfect so this kind of brings us on i want to talk a little bit about the glass on here as well it's got three viewing panels which is fantastic believe me when you're in the hot tent and you're just chilling out and you're able to see the flames it gives a real nice cozy homely feel to it now you might think glass and high temperatures might not necessarily be a good thing but this glass um, is high temperature um, refractory glass it's absolutely perfect I'm gonna have a hot tip for you as well on how to clean this glass because you do get soot on it and you might think it's a bit of a nightmare to clean in actual fact it's not I'll give you a hot tip when we go out and do the burn in just a minute so you can see glass on the front but also you've got glass on both sides of the stove as well absolutely perfect but right, guys just a, a quick uh, overview 304 stainless steel made of chromium and nickel that gives you the strong tensile usage it gives you the heat retention and stops you warping 6.5 kilograms in weight uh, you've got your three viewing panels with the high temperature refractory glass on there as well you've got the air curtain you've got plenty of airflow You've got your stove pipes uh, and it's 11.5 litres of volume. I'm going to come on to the price at the end, but first things first, let's get it outside and let's get this thing lit. Fantastic. So guys, nice and easy to get this going, and you can see I've got the dampener opener at the minute. If you put it like that, you might be able to notice the dip in airflow. I'll go like that. So that is the stovepipe closed down. You can see that the uh, the flames there have died down a little bit. If I open that up again, you can see the airflow. It's oxygenating the uh, the actual stove, and it's uh, it's accelerating the burn. I've got this open at the minute, that can be closed, or the vent, like that. But I do like to just keep it open just a little bit, just to increase the airflow. So guys, as you can see, it takes no time at all for that to get mega hot. That, uh, that's only been on probably about three minutes. And we've got lovely 
pipe in hot water and that's just from the actual top of the stove itself perfect and then just to keep that warm I will just keep that to the side there as well so you can see the stove itself is a fantastic clean burn I've used the air curtain now I've had it on for about 15 minutes or so so that's given that, that nice clean burn you can see the actual dampener you know you can make a, adjustments to the airflow and on the front it's very very versatile very versatile indeed from a safety point of view when you're in a hot tent obviously be careful <laughs> needless to say we're talking about flames here we're talking about hot equipment we're also talking about things like the stove pine being very very hot once it's burned down you want to clean the glass i'll show you that in a, in a second uh, and also just wait for it to cool down now because of the material itself it does take a little while to cool down but make sure it's fully cool before you attempt to pack it away for sure you've got to be safe and you've got to be savvy with these types of things especially in tents as well but all in all i've got to say i've used this quite a few times now and it's absolutely top class i've cooked loads of meals on the top you'll have seen on my last video steaks and all kinds of stuff fantastic for making brews the, the warmth and heat that comes off it inside the hot tent is second to none it's going to be a real game changer for winter conditions for sure um, and other things you know it doesn't have to be for hot tents you know it can be for uh, for um, camper vans you know for small outbuildings um, and summer houses and things like this as well obviously do check for fire safety regulations as well but all in all this is one fantastic stove if you're after something small and compact and it really packs a punch the Oriken 3 mini stove is perfect price wise at the time of recording this it's up at 299 us dollars on the pomoli website um, converted into sterling i think that's 246 quid but this is something which if you make that initial outlay this will last you forever um, i wish i'd had one of these years ago when i was out and about in the camper van more than i am at the minute this is absolutely top class i'll put the link in the comments in the description of the video so you can go and have a look at it the pomoli website's fantastic it gives you loads of dimension information and loads more information probably a little bit more than what i've been able to do on the video from memory but hopefully this has given you a real good idea about what this stove's capable of mm. fantastic So you've just seen there how easy it is to clean the glass that was one of my big concerns actually because it's lovely to have clear glass so you can see the flames that's the whole purpose of having you know the, the three the three kind of viewing windows and if they're just going to get smoked out obviously that would detract from the experience but dead easy to clean as you've just seen there just get a little bit of water on a little rag dab it in the actual um, embers when they're cool or cool of course it was still a little bit hot when i was doing it there and then just move it and it actually doesn't even scratch the glass that's the best way to do it you don't need portions and lotions or anything like that that's the best way to do it guys so i hope that um i hope that that's given you all the information that you need about this pomoli oriken 3 mini stove um as i've been recording this i've also i've had some messages come through on instagram asking about the tent asking about the stove so hopefully when i get this video out to you um this will answer your questions oh fantastic have that tea so guys any questions feel free put it in the comments i'll answer all of them catch us on instagram i'll answer your questions there as well i'll put a few reels up so you can see a little bit more about it i'm going to be out over the course of the next week to 10 days on an adventure hot tent um, um camp probably somewhere over towards galloway maybe or i might even go further afield i've got another week off work hopefully things calm down a little bit and then i can get myself out again and, and uh, we'll have an adventure with the Pomoli uh, hot tent the Hussar Plus Pomoli are kindly send us their latest hot tent and a new stove as well so that'll be coming up in future videos 
Um, the next one, probably not going to be solo, it's probably me and Dangerous Dan, maybe he's even Mountain Mick as well, so do stay tuned folks, stay tuned. In the meantime, um, all, I, all, all I would really kind of say is, you know, these types of things are great, these stoves are great, but obviously safety first, you're dealing with flames, hot equipment inside a tent, carbon monoxide wise, I haven't got a carbon monoxide um, detector, but I would recommend getting one. Every time that I've used it, I've made sure there's lots of airflow in the tent as well. It's essential. You've got to look and make sure that you're, you're safe with these things. So what I'm going to do, guys, um, I'm just going to get this packed away, and then it's ready for the next adventure. And all I would like to say is thanks for tuning in on this video. I hope it's been of help for you. And um, if there's any other review videos that you would like to see from me, do let us know in the comments. I'll be happy to oblige wherever I can. So, you know what's coming, as always, you know how important is it, you know it's quite easy to sit here on cold days, watch the telly, watch the news and Facebook and radio and newspapers and all the doom and gloom and all the bollocks that's going on, you know, get up off the sofa, stick your backpack on and get out into some beautiful places and soak up some prescription nature. Until next time folks, thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching, thanks for your support and thanks for your comments and for your subs and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you on the next Yonder Mountain Adventure. Bye for now. Oh, fantastic. <laughs>